Ateneo Blue Eagles have shown their diverse offensive abilities during their last outing as they were able to score on a variety of offensive setups. Turnovers, off turnovers, fast breaks, post up plays, drives, offensive rebounds, and three point shots. With several scoring options, can the Eagles snatch their sixth win today? In the meantime, the FU Tamaraos have extra motivation to perform as well they, as well as they have been performing, not just playing for themselves, but for their fallen comrade. Can the Tamaraos continue to play inspired basketball and forge a three-way tie for first place? Yes, folks, that is the significance of this ball game, this main event of this Thursday thriller as we are back at the Araneta Coliseum, the big dome for the big game between the Ateneo Blue Eagles and the FEU Tamaraos. And again, the coverage of the 71st season of the UAP can be seen on Studio 23. It is live and exclusive courtesy of ABS-CBN Sports. Boone Gonzalez together with Coach Ronnie Manzano and Ronnie, FEU, instead of being distracted in their last game, played inspired, they played motivated, and they're hoping to get uh, the first loss of Ateneo in this ball game. In a game that was supposed to be an underdog type of a game against UE, suddenly, Tamaraos have rallied behind a wounded comrade of theirs, Marnel Baracael. And um, in the words of Coach Glenn Capasho, the players motivated him last uh, Saturday. The result, FU winning its third consecutive victory. Let's see if FU will play with a little dose of an another kick of emotion against the mighty Ateneo Blue Eagles, a team that hasn't tasted a loss since July 5, boom. And that's a good 26 days of not losing a single game. FU Tamaraos riding the crest of a three-game winning streak, as you mentioned, while Ateneo unbeaten still at 5-0. and oh, And when you talk about Ateneo, the number one inside scoring team, the number one rebounding team, so many guys you can pick to talk about. Raba Luceni has had a career season. Job Nick McCollum, great in his comeback. Ryan Buenafe has been awesome as a rookie. But the last game against NU, it was the moment for Donoy Baclao. Oh, definitely. They're exactly right there, boom fourth in his team in terms of scoring almost 10 points per ball game second also for the Ateneo squad in terms of rebounding Donoy Baclao is coming out of that career game against their last outing against the NU Bulldogs pouring in 16 points in a tremendous shooting clip 8 out of 11 for a very high 72 percent from the field and that is just an illustration on how well the progress of Nonoy Baclao has served the purpose of Ateneo in the 71st season. Yeah, he leads the uh, forefront of the best rebounding team of the league and the best team in terms of inside production. And it, it's a good matchup against FU today as we shift our attention to the FU Tamaras who are on a three-game winning streak because you're talking about the best outside shooting team in the league in terms of three-point shooting. They lead the league at 40.5 and in that three-game winning streak, this guy has been on fire. Benedict Fernandez, Ronnie. On fire, scorching hot, blitzing his opponents with an amazing shooting clip from the three-point area. In the first two outings, Benedict Fernandez only scored 16 points to average about eight points per ball game. But in the last three games, anchored on being the best three-point shooter in the entire league, Benedict Fernandez hitting almost 70% from the three-point area, has averaged close to 20 points in the last three games, and one of the only two remaining players from the 2005 championship team looking forward to bringing FEU to the Final Four contention once more. The main event of your Thursday thriller are the Ateneo Blue Eagles and the FEU Tamaraos locking horns when we come back from this commercial break. Eagles! At power forward, number seven, Nonoy Baclao. Shooting forward, number 13, Ryan Guedafe. Center, number 19, Rama Hal Hussaini. At point guard, number eight, Baclon Austria. And at shooting guard, number 17, Chris Coach from the Blue Eagles, Norman Black. And now starting for the FEU Tamaraos. At point guard, 
number four, Andy Bonoka. Off guard, number seven, Benedict Fernandez. Setter, number 17, Aldrich Ramos. Power forward, number 20, Rail Salamontes. And it's shooting forward, number 16, Marlon Adolfo. The head coach of the top of the house, Glenn Camacho. The official split his ball game, Bobby Mendoza. Boya Manana. Coach Glenn Camacho, coach Norman Block. The set two on a Thursday thriller. And that's the starting five on your screens. Donay Baclao, Buena Fe, Al Husseini. And that fortress of uh, Ateneo. They, these two teams split their assignments last year. On uh, the first game going to FBU, 77-64 on another career game by Benedict Fernandez. And in the second game, Ateneo winning that one against FBU, but their main man during that time was Ford Otto. Different scenario for these two teams now. That's why right. this season, both of these teams trying to draw first blood in a race for the final four that is so tight, as we have seen so far this year. Every victory counts, not just looking at the sweep, but just staying up there for Ateneo. Now well, we're talking about streaks also as Benedict Fernandez continues on his hot streak and opens up scoring festivities in this ball game. Three game winning streak for FBU where he is shooting close to 70% and a five game best winning streak, of course, for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. If FBU wins today, three teams will be at five and one. That's going to be a huge for them, notwithstanding the emotions, circumstances, and the tragedy that uh, already surround this FBU Top So far, they have managed to overcome the victory over FBU, overcome the drama that has surrounded season 71 for them. This final round of this ball game, the back-to-back three pointers as you reach the top of the coverage, the best shooting team in the league with a six in a spurt to meet Ateneo. 40.5% as a team, league best. And Ateneo, as you pointed out in previous games, Ronnie, it's not really going to the three-point oh, shot oh, as a weapon. They're only hey. number seven in the league. And that is their strength going inside to their big man as they go to Raba Alusani for the first two points. Just the discipline, having the mindset, to make high percentage shots, go for layups, go for second chance points. It's also the thing that made Ateneo for this success here in season 71. I'm really interested to see how Ateneo is going to defend the three-point line today, being the best defensive team in the league. But there, in that sequence, an accenture high-performance three-point shot, high-performance delivered. Benedict Fernandez on a roll for the FBU Tamarhaus with under eight minutes to play. And we are back here at Araneta Coliseum. We are live and exclusively on Studio 23 as Chris Chu. This year, he has been shooting really low from that area, but when he does, they come in dispersed and they come in big moments. He just knows when to take over, boom, and in their last game against Andrew, had his best shooting day for the yes. year. Three out of seven from the three-point area. After having only close to 22% from the rainbow territory, he knows when to take over, he knows when he needs to score. Talking about this too. Oh, now. Orders training, getting the step of Dominic Austria, fades away. And that Cervantes, and again, Bobby Baclau, turning it away. Here's two against Fernandez, medium range. And he apologizes to the bench, they are only behind by a solitary point. Of just confidence, they're going for these two, or both teams are fighting in that basket. Those type of shots, Coach Norman really wants to be limited for that in there. He wants execution and he wants inside scoring for the Eagles. Offensive rebound by Neil Cervantes. And that will secure an appointment with the 15-foot line for two free throws. As we go to Porsche Silver, who will report for Ateneo de Manila today for our Samson Courtside. Will the Ateneos undefeated slate 
the, the boys have been working on their rebounds and fast breaks to harvest more wins this week. Because despite our 5-0 run, Coach Norman Tapp wants his team to stay driven in hopes of crushing the FU Tamarals today. He said, read the plays of your opponents, especially since their big men are taller than ours. I want this win more than ever. Indeed, as the Ateneo celebrates St. Ignatius Day, the whole community feels our patron saint's blessings as the blue and white remains on top. Boom. Thank you very much, St. Ignatius, patron saint of Ateneo. And based on our records, Ronnie, in the last six years, Ateneo is 3-0 and zero when they have a game on St. Ignatius Day. <laughs> Interesting, huh? So uh, thank you, Porsche Silva, for that Samson courtside update. And uh, there's an ongoing streak for them during uh, this feast of St. Ignatius. Wenafin lines up the three. That's his second miss. Chris Chu tapping into himself, saving the ball, but Wenafin from that is tapping it back to Chris Chu. Just at the part of the veteran, please do. Completely move, not only when it has to understand, and right when it has to understand that he needs to go inside the basket, needs to be this way, completely nearer to the basket. How about Nodoy McLeod turning away another shot in this ball game? And then they go to him on the other side. Oh, oh, he does oh, oh, oh. Mark Molina has mentioned in previous games, he feels that this talent that the Nero team, he is really the key to the success for this year. Probably so, one of the best defensive anchors in the recent years for Ateneo. He leads the front line of Ateneo defensively, talking about such guys as Joe Pique Macola, Menal Luceni, Ronay Baclao, offensive humming for Ateneo once more. All right, Alaksan fast release, Bastabari paint, Talamagad, Ang Alaksan FR Ateneo in the lead, 9-7. to seven. But they call this first time out courtesy of Samson with Sam. Back here at the Araneta Coliseum for more of the 71st season of the UAP. Chris Chu, Donoy Baklao, PS Bank assist. PS Bank, Ma Asan. That's Chris Chu finding a couple of teammates already, averaging around 2.2 assists a game for league leading Ateneo Blue Eagles. 5.30 to play. Raba has that shot from 16 and he knocks it down. Great basket coming from an extra pass from the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Realizing that FU is helping out Ellie every time they attack the basket. Because of that, after they being down 6 to nothing, are now in the driver's seat 11 7, 5 and 10 for a square goal. Alvin Ramos pulling out. Maroka gets back with given the baseline. But he just could not finish as he explodes to the rack. On the other side, it is Buena Fe. Goes to Chris Chu. Quick three. Chris Chu is short. Maroka. Off to Cervantes, Rava was there waiting, sidestepping, doesn't get the roll. And the tap, going back to FU, Benedict Fernandez challenged by Chris Chu and a foul as he got clipped on the attempt. Recognizing that Benedict Fernandez has been scorching out as a late. Chris Chu is not for a foul, a chance for Benedict Fernandez to push FU closer to this four point deficit. And a chance for us to go to Christelle Villard of FU for this update. The Tamarals sure are prepared for a tough battle again today. Sabi nga ni Coach Glenn, natalo natin sila last year. Ngayon pa kaya ng mas mature at mas experienced na tayo. As for today's game plan, Coach Glenn wants the guys to focus all throughout the 40 minutes of the ball game and put up good defense against Ateneo. He also reminded the boys that Ateneo is a good rebounding team as he expects his towards to back out on every opportunity for his guards for his big man. Finally, this game will be dedicated to our big man, Robert Cabot, for this will be his last game for the Tamarals. Boom. Thank you very much, uh, Christelle Fillard. Another of those uh, unexpected developments from the FU side as we uh, will go back to uh, Bob if I'm yes. not mistaken. It's a major decision on the part of this young man. Sometimes also. decisions are made because of certain scenarios. Let's see if he will play inspired basketball today. The way his teammates did in their last victory over the Red Warriors. 6 0 run by Ateneo, halted by those three throws. It is 11 to 9 now. That is our score. Raba, double deep, shrugs it off, puts up the hook oh, in. Oh, 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 that side turning his right. You have to take that away from Alusini because not only is he tall, but he's extremely long and accurate with those right jump hooks. Robert Kage. Roca inside, nice big, and again a great challenge by Nono Baclau from behind, Ronnie. That's what we are talking about, Blue. Being 
the defensive anchor. The last line of defense always available to take away those easy payments by the opponents. Really one of the best shot blocking frontline member of Ateneo is Nonoy Baclao. Cool and clean block. Cool plus clean. That's Nonoy Baclao from behind. A team that averages close to five blocks a game. With Nonoy Baclao counting for almost three yeah, of those five blocks per game for Ateneo. 13 to 9 is our score, coming up the four minute mark. All this uh, first quarter, Baclao is two out of three. Alosani, three out of three so far in this game. Buenafe, still trying to get himself going against the sophomore JR Kowali. Kowali played him well in that sequence. Yet Shutel is now in the ball game. Kowali, Kabe, Kabe puts it up. Nine drive, doesn't connect. Real Cervantes out of nowhere, but he's able to put it back. Alessini should keep an eye on Cervantes, who's also been playing well as of late for the FU Tamaraus. And together with uh, Arjic Ramos, it's also combined to really push the credibility and uh, being special for this front line of FU. Cervantes already with eight rebounds in this game, Ronnie. Easily. That equals the total of Ateneo with eight to Jorge Baclao. Secures an appointment in the free throw line via the three-point play opportunity. Cervantes coming out of nowhere, averaging 4.8 offensive rebounds a game, showing us the power rate, power rebound. Sports is what you make it. You can't just watch the shot and turn your back on uh, Cervantes. So let's take a look at this nice pass coming from uh, Salamat to Nonay Bakla. Uling -uling sa ating Smart Instant Replay, brought to you by Smart. Meron kasi mga big men na kaya mo i-box out na yun, alam mo, hindi sila gumagalaw or doon lang sila sa press nila. And then there are the big men like FU, UST, UE that fly to the basket. More running. quick and athletic. Yes. Galing sa labas eh, so hindi mo mahanap. But sometimes you just have to face guard when necessary. Just create the first contact to deny him those second chance looks and second chance opportunities. Six points for Baclao, three out of four from the field. Two blocks already in the game. Swing it over. Kawali will try a three. That's short. And it ends up with Eric Salamat. Salamat all the way. Eric that has been the specialty of Eric Salamat, especially this year, Ronnie. And this is a quicker unit for Ateneo. Coach Norman Black having the luxury of shifting from a slow team to a quick team. That's why they have a six-point margin to win 51 for his period. Patron fast break on your screens. Patron extra unleaded, extra mild play. Good enough for a six-point lead with under three minutes remaining here in this first quarter. Back here at the Araneta Coliseum, the loud venue here at the heart of Cubao. Quezon City, our obvious matchup, Chris Chu, Benedict Fernandez. The numbers and the intangibles that they bring to the table, Ronnie. <laughs> Two of the best offensive weapons here in the entire UAP, just showing us what they can do for their respective schools. That's why uh, they're their respective schools for having a lot of success here in season 71 with uh, the first round almost done. A couple more assignments huh, for both of these teams. High tap ends up. Paul Sana, they have a fresh shot clock, so they reset the table. Jens Muta taking responsibility. Point guard Shores for MBU. Kowali trying to penetrate Salvin. What a great face of defense by Nico Salvin. This is also one primary reason why Ateneo is in a five game winning run. Four blue chip rookies playing not like neophytes at all, providing instant impact, combining with the veterans to blend in really quickly and uh, Almost trying to make a very special year for Ateneo, which will incidentally celebrate this 150th year next year as an educational institution. They look so confident out there. Very, don't they, very Ronnie? confident. I mean, rookies in general in the 71st season of the UAP <laughs> have really shown a lot of confidence. Talk about guys such as Clark Bautista, Jarek Fortuna, so many players coming into play in this season. Our Nike Hyper player of the quarter, courtesy of Raba Alusaini. Just do it. A minute and 43 remaining. 17 to 11 is still the score. And foul on a driving against Newton. First personal. Ball for Reyes. Coach Glenn Capacho trying for trying to find ways and means to get to the basket. 
simply because the frontline defense of Ateneo is so impressive, so airtight, and just denying easy layups for FEU. Martin, our smart yeah, the smart. Ateneo, one out of five from the three-point area. FEU is two out of five, but they are seven out of 13 within the two-point area, while FEU, one out of 11 within the two-point area. Credit that to an excellent help, helping defense by Ateneo, just making themselves available with such guys as Nodei Bakla and Alusini anchoring that interior defense for the Blue Eagles. Number one of defensive team in the league, only allowing 60.8 points a game. FEU is not too shabby. They're number three in the league uh, running, right? Definitely. When we talk about point differential, Ateneo is among the league's best. With a plus 14 advantage every wow. time they set foot on court. Wow. And in the last three outings, in the last four outings, they've only given up close to 58 points a ball game. And that's the reason why they are on top of the league as of this point in the tournament. And by the way, that was the first turnover of Ateneo in this ball game where they also are the league best, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Discipline, half court execution, excellent defense combined their, with their offensive arsenal. And that is why it's so tough to beat Ateneo in season 71. What? As we've seen, it's only early part. Anything can happen. Movie. Anything can happen. I think we all recall season 70. <laughs> As we get back into this ballgame, Paul Sano making the adjustment. Offensive rebound by Ramos. And a three-point play. The opportunity on another offensive rebound. Six offensive rebounds already for FEU in this game. Talk about Andrix Ramos had his most productive game in their last outing. As we take a look at this nice putback coming from Ramos. Hey. Power move brought to us by PS Bank, PS Bank Mahasahan. Ramos in their last ball game, producing his best scoring outing, especially in the dying moments of the ball game, hitting two crucial free yep. throws to put that game away for FU. A 71-69 hard breaker of a loss for the Union Warriors. Warriors. Correct. This is Irayas. Enters enemy territory, kicks it out. Salaman overcooks that one and snaps away. JR Kowali sets up Ramos on the other end, but misses. Have could not handle the possession. And Jai travels. Forces the second turnover on Ateneo. FU showing a lot of hustle here. As you mentioned, the third best defensive team in the league. He's going toe to toe with Ateneo, trying to create, create a lot of defensive stops. Vincent Burke. One of our Tokyo Tokyo Rookie Watch, one of our guys featured on the Tokyo Tokyo Rookie Watch, Tokyo Tokyo, from Bagorito, Gallic Dex Escuela de Kurt Long, this is Fate Academy. Right? Excellent mid-range jumper this guy has. <laughs> and he hasn't been able to show it yet, but when he does, and when he will be able to show it, you'll see what I mean oh, about the stroke. That type of a shooter is a perfect complement to inside players such as Alusaini and Joe McCollum because when your defense collapses, you are a to launch those 12 to 15 foot jumpers that we have seen him take early here this season. Six out of eight from the free throw line for FBU so far. Ronnie, what is your assessment of the second year of J.R. Kowali so far? Obviously, a lot is expected from him. He'll play five years for FBU. Yeah, he won the rookie of the year. Quite a slow start for J.R. Kowali in this season 71 has only averaged about eight points per ball game, and we expect more from this young man. Maybe the sidelining of Makmak Barakael, we expect him to play more minutes for Coach Glenn Capasho, and we expect him to play better defense and deliver on the offensive end as well. And to think that is his position. He had this best scoring output in the last outing, playing a lot of minutes with the absence of Barakael. On the third try, Michael Baldos earns himself a trip to the line. Nico Salvo was blocked oh, earlier. 21 yeah, seconds remaining in this first, first quarter where oh, FEU wow. just crawled back into the lead. That's what they have done for the entire season. Just hang in there, play tough defense, and during the last part of the ball game, they steal those close games. But here you find Coach Norman utilizing up to the last part of his front line rotation, just making sure that these big guys are fresh and ready Come the second half. Mr. MVP, of course, staunch supporter, right behind the Ateneo bench. Former San Veda Red Cup, Michael Baldos, two for two. Uh, on the line, they are now two out of three as a team so far in this ball game, and they snatched the lead back at 19 to 18. 
21 seconds remaining. One more time for one more play in this first quarter on a Thursday thriller. Big matchup between Ateneo and FEU. One is 5-0, the other one is on a three-game winning streak. Sana, top of the circle, rattles out. Valdo secures that one. Time for one last shot. Sanama drives, loses possession, and that will do it. That was so dangerous. There's a foul, I believe. First, let's look at this. This play first on your screens, our Accenture high performance of the quarter, high performance delivered. Masyado ata maaga yung tira na Masyado maaga, masyado maaga. I really thought that they would be going for the last shot. Instead, Sanga launching a three-point shot. And with then, six seconds record, left. Oh, masyado mahaba. And with a speedster <laughs> such as Salaman, that is a lot of time to burn. And Ateneo here burning FU with a last second oh. foul. Two-point advantage for Ateneo, 2018. A chance for them to go up by three in the first 10 minutes of action. They are now four out of five from the line. Second quarter is underway when we come back from this short break. Second quarter is underway. We are happy to have you with us on a Thursday rainy, wet, soggy Thursday. So for those of you watching us on Studio 33, welcome. And of course, the ones watching us on My Sky 33, My Sky Cable 33 for the replays of uh, our ball games. Again, the Gabibu Sinulat, Luke Gonzalez, Ronnie Manzano. Christelle Pillar, Portia Silva, reporting for ABS-CBN Sports for the game between Ateneo and FEU and another turnover by Ateneo in this game. That is their third in the ballgame. The average 14, your assessment of the first run. Just a well played defensive game there with both teams forcing each other to shoot lower than what they had in their previous outing. Of course, FEU just scorching hot from the field in their last yes, victory over the team. Ateneo oh, likewise has been very impressive from the outside. But I think the front line battle so far has been dominated by Ateneo. Uh, uh, with six points, Alusene with six points. With a little dose of the quickness of, uh, of course, Eric Salamat. While for FEU, scrappy plays. Going to the free throw line has been their secret to their success in the first quarter. It is a 21-18 count to start the second quarter. Ramos looking for a friend. Benedict Fernandez has Chris Chu on him. Jens Newton back to Fernandez. Great closeout by Chris Chu. And Fernandez comes up short on that three-point shot. The pitch, dangerous, very dangerous. Pinadalina, Miraba. Nakahabol na si Benedict. Parang football throw in kasi yun eh. Hindi baseball pass. Wala masyadong kwersa. Ito yung kagandaan. If you miss a three-point shot, you go back on defense, make a defensive stop. That's been a very big plus for FEU in Season 71. Ang sipag nilang dumipensa talaga. Three turnovers now for both teams as they give away the ball to Ateneo. And the Dolfo marches back into the playing court with under nine minutes to play. Jai Reyes, Chris Chu, Michael Baldos, Eric Sarama, and Raba Alusaini in the game. They kick it out, Chai puts up the three, rattles out again. And their percentage as a team is just going down for Ateneo, where they are seventh in the league in three-point shots, averaging only 24.6%. Meantime, oh, the former players from Ateneo, right graduate now, of course, loyal pa din. A cheeseburger, come on. Villanueva sporting their colors and supporting their school, who are 5 0 in the 71st season of the new AAB. Of course, those uh, are you correct that you've seen a while ago? A part of the 2002 team that won the third. And last championship for Ateneo. That's why this year they're looking at their fourth. But of course, FU trying to get their 20th. They swing the UAP. But uh, this year, they're really just going to try to get themselves into playoff contention. Remember, they were eliminated last year. In the last two years? Oh, tama. That's how they step ladder format. 8.19 to play. We uh, throw it over to Porsche Silva from Ateneo for a Samsung courtside update. 
be aware of your movements on the court, run down and execute your shots well. These words of coach Norman Black are pushing the team to dominate today's match as he relies on the big men to exhibit more force and tenacity in terms of ball handling. More importantly, coach Black is asking Eric Salama to anticipate the Tamaro's actions. The game has just begun, but as always, it's never too early for Team Ateneo to impress spectators and intimidate their opponents. Boom. Thank you, Portia, for our Samsung courtside update. A block on the nice move by Raba Adesini. Fernandez open for the three. Chris Chu again following him. Fernandez so far, not as hot as before. 7.48 to play. Let's go to the other side. Uh, if Christelle Villard is ready for FBU, Christelle. Huwag kayong magmadali as Coach Glenn told his boy. Sabi nga niya, there is no need to rush our shots. For all we need to do right now is to move that ball more and find our open man. Also, he told the guys that their outside shots are off right now. So he wants them to drive to the basket and probably get some fouls from Ateneo. As for defense, Coach wants the boys to pressure the backward of Ateneo. Boom. And look at them struggling as Christelle gives us our Samson courtside update. FBU, as she mentioned, Ronnie, two out of nine from the three-point area. The thing that these two squads are two of the most disciplined teams in terms of shooting, just taking high percentage shots, but today both relying on the long court. I think this is one key adjustment for both coaches during the course of the game. Oh, major collision between two tough guys, <laughs> Eric Salaman and Mark Barocca, who, by the way, lead the league together in steals. They're number one in steals, both of them. And both good rebounding guards as well. Of course, Mark Barocca has been the anchor on the backcourt for Coach Glenn Capasho, while Salamat provides a lot of hustle and spark in the backcourt for the Blue Eagles. The shoe, finding Salamat, corner pocket shot, there gets it to go! Only the second three-point basket for Ateneo. I really felt that NU exposed a certain weakness in the game of Ateneo in their last outing. That's why now FU trying to drop to a 1-2-2 zone defense. Whoa. Try and push Ateneo to take more outside shots, play away from their strength, yes. and so that FU can outrun them if they get those missed shots. Salamat now leading all scorers, Ronnie. Seven points. Fernandez trying to set up Ramos. But again, the inferior defense of Ateneo forcing that three-second infraction. Seven points for Eric Salamat as Christian once again finding a friend that's so, been so unselfish. That's a sign of very good leadership for this team. Three-point accenture, high-performance shot, high-performance delivered. Courtesy of Eric Salamat. They are two out of nine, both of them, from the three-point area. And from uh, the two-point area, Ateneo seven out of 16. FU is still struggling at two out of 16. But because of the excellent defense, of Ateneo from the get-go. We really expect a very low scoring game simply because we have two of the best defensive teams here in the UAP play against each other. Ateneo trying to go for win number six and move a game away from sweeping round number one while FU trying to go for four consecutive victories and uh, trying to force a leadership among Ateneo, Lasal, and uh, the camera. Salamat on your screens. Champ of the game, leading contender. Big burger goodness like no other. Eight minutes, seven points, two out of three from the field, two out of two from the free throw line. Has finished the first quarter with two free throws, started the second quarter with a three-point shot. Alusini was six points in the ball game, scoring his seven. Just has gotten so strong in the recent years. It just has gotten so much better. I think more confident yep. with the entry of Doubt. guys such as Buenafe, even Bird. But those rookies also have added a lot of uh, fuel to the fire for Adenel. Knocks down two free throws. Good enough for a seven-point lead. That is the biggest lead of the biggest lead of the ball game for either team. 26-19. Alisco tried to set up. Marlon Adolfo fouled his call. 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 6-10 remaining here. You get the feeling, Ronnie, na. Jibachab pa lang to. Pareho. Parang, no? Parang. Feeling, uh, feeling out. Ha! Oh, no? Tapos sa isang quarter. Pero, ang nakikita kong kayo ba talaga? Ateneo is issuing the extra pass. Well, if you, every time they penetrate, they just attack the defense of Ateneo. He has really been solid all throughout this ball game. But Ramos knocking in that nice jumper there. He finds a stroke to cut the lead down to five. 26-21. Yeah. 
Andres Ramos, the leading shot blocker for FEU. Timeout button is pressed at the 5.46 mark. This one brought to us by Samsung with Samsung Imagination Lives. Back here at the Araneta Coliseum, and again, the UAP would like to thank Powerade. Boom Gonzalez together to coach Roddy Baxano, and we are witnessing a major drought from the field by FEU. Only one field goal made since the 104 mark of the first quarter, Roddy. That's a long time Gabe. for an excellent shooting team such as FEU. That's just a testament yes. to the wonderful preparation of Ateneo today, but also FEU not doing badly either on the defensive end. Piaia uh, Anji, Raba Luseni there. <laughs> Ten points, four out of five from the field. Six rebounds, the leading scorer in the game. Rewarded, although he lagged behind defensively. Has scored five points this quarter to go with the three-point shot of Salama. And they have outscored FEU in the second quarter, seven against three. And the drought continues. Ah, that for the Tamaraos. Salama, oh, what a move by Eric. This is out on the finish, and a foul call. No way, traveling infraction called. As players got tangled up underneath. That time around, interior defense of FEU coming into play, denying any access to the basket for the Ateneo team. From the FEU, you're looking at Kim de Guzman, 16 years old, our Silverworks girl of the day. Be cool, be proud. Silverworks team spirit collection. 440, at least Bo will try his hand. Rims out. Still no goal for FBU. And Derek Salamat got hit on the jaw. And Ina Bayana, no? And until such time as FBU finds a zone buster to break this 2 3 zone defense of Ateneo, I don't think Coach Norman will shift his defense, especially here in this quarter, as he has limited FBU. To only three points courtesy of Aldrich Ramos while shutting down the shooters of FEU from the wings and those three point shooters from the top and from the corners. 424 remaining. McLeod is back in the ballgame. Ryan will try again for three. Shanaman ang inahalak para sa Ateneo. Adolfo. Bakot was there to close it out. 16 on their 24 as we come up the four minute mark of this first half. Ramos, as the road guys, has been able to knock down a couple of jumpers. It's five points in the quarter for Ramos, pushing his total to eight markers. He's been the only guy scoring well and shooting well for the Tamaraos. Tamaraos are six of 28 from the field, while Adeneo is 11 out of 29. Alosini once again, just so near the basket, and when he catches that ball underneath, he's automatic. Defense of FU should step up, put the cuffs against Alosini. And he's shooting five out of six so far. That's too much, way Not too much, pass, way so. too much. McLeod, okay. looking to swing, he says, ah, oh, why don't I shoot one here? Nothing there, McLeod tries to get in again. A battle inside, won by FU at the 320 mark. They are behind by seven. And they're looking to shoot from three once again, and that one finds its mark. That's Paul Sana from the corner for his first three points. Very important development there for FEU. It's finally, they knock in something from the outside. Paul Sana struggling this season, only two points per ball game, 12% from the three-point area. They need somebody who will deliver from the long court and from the perimeter. And this is his first season to be 100% healthy and already. Torn ACL in season 70. It takes a while really to get your confidence going. At yung uh, takot mo na hindi ka na masaktan ulit. Uh -huh. Isa nang hirap burahin. Mental aspect of it. Ito yun. 235 to play. Chris Chu using the roadblock. Sets up Bakun. Ryan thought about it. Drives baseline. Drives hard. And it's fouled. And that's how you want your players to go. You go with everything in. Yes, after launching too many three-point attempts in the first half. Well, him. Finally having the mindset of attacking the basket for the Eagles. How about Sanga with an Accenture high performance three? High performance delivered. Another timeout on the floor brought to us by Samson with Samsung. Back here at the ball game as we look at a head and shoulders crucial stop. His mind is definitely on the game with head and shoulders stop Dandruff from coming back. As Rabba Al Husseini puts it up and in. First man in double digits today. 
Halusene already with 12 markers. Talking about Ryan Brennafer, boom, coming off a three-point production in their last outing against NU. Did not buy a basket from the field, but not shoot so well. Once again, in today's ballgame, had a lot of three-point attempts. For someone who shot only eight attempts in their first five games, Renafe should understand that his game is predicated on his strength in attacking the basket, in going to the free throw line. And, uh, he gets two there. He's shooting zero out of six from the field today. Especially for rookies. Certain humps and bumps that they face on their way to being a major star here in the UAP. And you know he's a star in waiting, Ronnie. <laughs> Eight out of 24 for FEU. They are behind by six. Kowali trying to maneuver, gets inside, traffic, and Chris Chu takes it away. Chris Chu maintaining his dribble. Chris Chu setting up Raba Al Husseini, who is six out of eight from the field. 14 points for the big man for the Blue Eagles side. Quick adjustment there by Coach Norman Black, extending the defense of Ateneo all the way out to the three-point line. What about Al Husseini outrunning the wingman of Ateneo? Masyadong masipag talaga, kaya naman has been rewarded time and time again with those high scoring opportunities. Doing his own version of a Ford Arrow. Ano ba ito yun? Ano ba ito? Ito naman ang tigata mula sa labas. On FBU, that's John June Alice Morello. That is his shot. And this is the shot that's keeping them in the game. Even if you try to attack the basket, and the big guys of Ateneo are there, he said you have to take what Ateneo gives you. Alisbo taking it, They're behind by five, with 70 seconds remaining. Mawali goes to his right. Oh, too fancy. I owe the coach to the coach to the coach to the coach. Game so crucial as this one. High percentage passes, high percentage offense is what coach Glenn Capasio demands from his uh, young unit. A win today will force a triple tie for first place, so I'm sure Salians are watching this game and are rooting for FBU. As Cervantes puts it in. The offers traveling in the first eight minutes of this quarter, who with their scoring race, suddenly has found the basket. Because of that, they're only down by three markers, 34-31, heading into the last 42 seconds of the first half. First two. Time for around three plays, bearing any hits, and a turnover. Yes, a turnover completed. This is Tanua. And back-to-back -back turnovers. Three on none. Alusaini puts it in. Rama Alusaini, 16 points on 9 of 11 shooting from the field. Defense Sorry. against defense. That's 8 out of uh, 10 shooting from the field. 80%. Yeah, I am on the field. 36-31 for Ateneo. FU excellent defense. Ateneo defensive execution likewise. A three by Cervantes rattles out. And no more time remaining. Napuhay and Amonte, ang crowd dito sa Ateneo, especially from the blue side of things, Ronnie. For the first time, we've seen the crowd of Ateneo standing up, happy with the last part of that first half. And also for FU, they need a lot of energy heading into the last uh, part of this matchup. Our Nike Hyper play of the quarter just do it. Raba Al Husseini, 16 points. I stand corrected, seven out of nine from the field. Good enough for a five-point lead for the Blue Eagles who are looking to be 6-0 and oh in season 71 of the UAEP. We'll be back with halftime here at the end of
We've just seen amazing performances from the Ateneo Blue Bubble Battalion back to back with the FNU cheering squad. This cheer dance exhibition was brought to us by Samsung because with Samsung, imagination lives. More of you in AP Season 71 when we come back right here on Studio 23. Welcome back to the Araneta Coliseum. We are at the half, and we find Ateneo ahead by 5, 36, 31. It hasn't been pretty basketball, but <laughs> Ateneo has proven in season 71 of the UAP. They've been involved in a couple of games here in the UAP, wherein it hasn't been a great offensive game, but they've been able to pull off some wins, and it has been their defense that has kept them going here uh, with a five-game winning streak. And likewise for FAU, and that's why today we're witnessing quite an ugly ball type of a scenario between Ateneo and FAU. But I'm sure that these two coaches won't mind that this is a slow, low scoring game for as long as this, their respective school come out on, comes out on top. Mm -hmm. And in the first half, Ateneo finishing with a five-point margin on excellent high-scoring percentage shots, while FAU relying on their three-point shooting and their free-throw shooting to stay close to the Blue Eagles. As we look at the struggles of the Tamaraos and the, the numbers on your screens, 9 out of 35, while Ateneo a little better at 13 out of 36. But the inside points, as we mentioned, again, the number one team averaging 37.2 inside points. Ateneo already over halfway there at 22. With uh, Rama Alosena accounting for 16 of those 22 points, Otto Ramos and Cervantes has also been anchoring the offense for FU. Turnover points is one thing also that hurt FE in the first half. A lot of turnovers converted by Ateneo through layups. And I think if FU can limit those easy points coming from Alusaini point blank and limit those layups coming from guys such as Salamat, then this will be a much closer game heading into the last few minutes of action. Of course, that's easier said than done, as always, <laughs> in the UAAP. As we would like to thank uh, Powerade again for supporting 71st season of the UAAP. Boom Gonzalez, Coach Ronnie Boxano for ABS-CBN Sports. We are glad to have you with us. And we expect an even tighter second half with so much problems in terms of offense for FU. They're still just behind by five. As we look at Rabba Alusaini, you pointed out the 16 points of the 22 inside points are leading contender for champ of the game, but I was making that point about FU shooting miserably, but still just behind by five, Ronnie. And, and those are uh, attributes of the whole team, the ability to stay close, the ability to win games, even if, even if you struggle offensively for as long for as long as you have excellent discipline on the defensive end, then you give yourself a good chance of winning any type of a ball game. Again, number one and number three team in terms of allowing points but an eight-point differential, though, between them, although they are one and three, 60.8 and 68.8, that's a if you really think about it, Roger. That is because of that 72-45 uh, win by Ateneo over Adam. Adam so that Sorry. really put up the defensive average. And I think from that game on, that was a special spring for the coach Norman Black used, that his boys was able to rally around the 45-point uh, production that they gave up defensively. And after that, it's been really a very stingy offense that Ateneo has employed in their last uh, four-game winning run. Hey, looks familiar. <laughs> Mark Isip, and to your right, of course, Deno Miranda, featured as our Apiton built body. Apiton helps build your body. It's easy to gain weight. Be true to your school. Part of the 2003 champion team for Coach Coy Banal. A lot of special uh, memories also for these two young men. Bibigay support to them for the FU, like Rich Alvarez and Rico Villanueva at Cibugs for Ateneo. That is the projected next Derek Miranda you saw earlier, Mark Barroca. Fernandez has not had the hot hand today. Nonoy Baclau, the second best shot blocker of Season 71 so far as we look at Stephanie and Youngson, 17 years old from FEU, our Samsung fan of the game. But Samsung imagination lives. Back to live action as third quarter is underway. Ateneo with possession. Castaneda will try his hand at a three. That's off the mark. It will stay 
for the White Shirts of the Blue Eagles. They are looking to go to six and three if they win. And establish a little more space between themselves and LaSalle and FEU. FEU is going to beat coming from LaSalle, if I'm not mistaken, right? Early in the first round, and after that, they have strong up three consecutive victories to really turn skeptics into believers. They won against uh, Adamson, lost to LaSalle, and then went 3-0. and As a foul is called on an inside attempt. Starting for FEU, Barroca, Sala, Fernandez, Tanuan. And the last game that we're going to see, uh, the native from Papua New Guinea, Mr. Robert Cave. As he will go back to his homeland after today. Sana. Swing it to Fernandez. Space to shoot. And he gets it in the more space to match the three point attempt. And that is one aspect of the game that FU had in the first half. One primary reason why they were able to stay close to Abinaya. Even if they met that shot at the power wall from the third point area, they shot one points in the third point of the match on the main ball territory. That's got a pressure so far for a half time of points for the two of Abinaya from Manila. Pressure. The Blue Eagles are still looming in the horizon as they beat the Tamaraos during the first half. And the boys will continue to take over this match as coach Norman Beck demands everyone to improve their outside shooting. The goal for every man is to do better, so we're the players. Take the job and shoot the ball, he said. Second triple on the ball game. And our fourth lead change, Ronnie. The effect on Eric Salamat. Uh, very big. Uh, very big. Salamat being sidelined here in the second half. Coach Norman loses the spark coming off the bench. In the first half, he scored seven out of the nine total bench points for Ateneo. And uh, I think his steadiness down the stretch will also be missed by Ateneo. His toughness defensively yes. and his quickness. Something that he brings so well to the table for the Eagles. The FU crowd is getting into this now, Ronnie, as they have taken the lead. They have 15 on their 24. They find Fernandez inside, and he draws a foul and will go to the free throw line. When you make your three-point shots and the defense extends all the way to the three-point line, then you can attack the basket. Two three-point baskets in the third quarter, and suddenly FPU just down by one. As Paro Asanga and Fernandez delivering from the long court for FEU. Delivering a high, an accenture high performance three point shot, high performance delivered. Now Fernandez, the marked man in this game against uh, <laughs> UE in the third quarter. He scored 10 points against USD, six points. And we'll see what he will do in the third quarter of this game where he usually starts heating up. And obviously, I chased him again. Benedict Fernandez, Guy Reyes on your screens. He is two out of four from the line. Really not yet getting his touch today. For the season, only a little over 50%. One weakness in the game of Benedict Fernandez that he really needs to work on, especially coming into the second round, where the games will be played at a close time play ball game. Kaila ang ano yung mga niyan, lalo sa dulo. Battle for the loose ball, and Rafa Alasani continues to flex his muscle underneath. Would have been an end one opportunity uh -huh. for Alasani with his 20th point of the ball game. A season high for Alasani, perhaps a glimpse of uh, what he was able to show us, scoring 18 points and 17 rebounds early in the first round. The tap going back to FBU, fresh shot clock to work with. The new one, Sana Baroka. Steps back from 16. And Raba na huli. Kumulak. So it will be FEU ball. And speaking of FEU, let's go to Christelle Fillard. Christelle. During the huddle at halftime, Coach Glenn was asking his boys, ano ang problema natin? Bakit nyo kailangang magkanya-kanya? 
as he was very disappointed with his team as they were not playing according to their system. There is no ball movement, that's why the Tamaros cannot execute their plays and keep settling for those outside shots. Patience would be key for the ball game as Coach Glenn emphasized that they need to be patient with their shot selection. Now going to the second half, sabi nga ng team, let's forget about the first half and start playing within our own system. Thank you, Bristel, for that Samsung courtside update. I'm sure both coaches had their... Emphasized. Yes. Certain points. Al Hussein is there! He is unstoppable right now. 22 points for Rabba Al Husseini. 78% from the field in the first half. Wow. 100% here in the third quarter. Six points coming from Al Husseini, scoring all the points of Ateneo. Just like that, a five point margin once again for the Blue Eagles. And adding to the inside points of Ateneo right now. And a five-point lead, 42-37. Barroca draws the foul on a bailout play. And the rest of the big men of FU should understand that Al Husseini's confidence is sky high this ah. season. Take him away from his threat. Push him away from the basket because when he's that near, under the basket, he's automatic. Power move brought to us by PS Bank. PS Bank, Mahasan, 10 out of 13 from the field for Raba Al Husseini. In the meantime, Free throws for Mark Barroca. Free throws together with three-point shooting has yep. been what's keeping FU in this ballgame against the frontline dominance of Alusaini. So frontline for Ateneo, three-point shooting for FU, and free throw accuracy as well. I just saw uh, Eric Salaman saying goodbye to his teammates on the bench. I guess he's going straight to the hospital now. Probably, most probably. Broken jaw. Mahirap yan. Masakit yan. Masakit. Mas masakit po. Para sa FPU. 24 points. Career high. 11 of 14. Shooting his previous career high was 21 points. And that was last year. And now he is up at 24. And he is unconscious right now. He doesn't even know what he's doing. He's in his own talking about Alusene picking up where fourth arrow left off. But if you're Coach Glenn Capasho, what adjustments are you going to make to take away these point-blank attempts wow. from Alusaini? Do you put the body? Do you stay home for Alusaini? PS Bank assist. Uh, PS Bank, Mahasan, or Sherman Black still complaining with a six-point lead, 44 to 38. We have a Samsung timeout with Samsung Imagination Lives. Back here at the Araneta Coliseum, as we look at a cold moment, ang sarap dito. The Ateneo Blue Eagles, all of the eight points here in the third quarter coming from Raba Luceni at 4-4 shooting. They show some love to them. Show some love. Baklao to Kirk Long, but here in the third quarter, eight points for Raba Luceni. Something has got to give here in the defense of FEU. They only allow about 66 points per ball game, but here it's still 5-57 in the third. Ateneo with Alusaini anchoring the offensive end. 44 points already for the Blue Eagles. And let's see what Coach Glenn Capasho has up in his sleeves to finally put the cuffs on Alusaini. Macias, Macias Colonna, Johan Chico, JC Antal, of course. You know, the 11 out of 14 of Raba, Ronnie, has matched the 11 out of 41 of MEU as a team. Wow. 11 out of 41 from the field. Alusaini is 11 of 14. Dizzying numbers. Moraba. Kirk sends it out. Austria. And he travels. That's just excellent defense on the part of FPU. Closing out long, cutting the angle, recovering, and forcing Austria to take steps there. 44 39, 5 minutes and 35. Unlike the first half, wherein there was flat electricity <laughs> here in the third quarter, everybody's alive, including us. Yep, and including the crowd here at the Big Dome. For your Thursday thrill thriller, we are live, and it is exclusive, courtesy of ABS-CBN Sports, as Saka settles for the three, rattles out. Raba Alusaini alongside his 24 points. 14 rebounds already. Hindi ko na nga makita dito sa score sheet. Eh. Isa lang talaga halos yung kumakayong dito for Ateneo. Three-point shooting also for Ateneo has been uh, a struggling part of their ball game today. Frontline squatting has been their main weapon so far against FEU. Jollibee Barcada of the day. Jollibee Crispy Fries. Our best friends fries. Have your pictures taken at the Jollibee Barcada booth and get a chance to win cool gadgets. You likened him 
And you compared him to Ford Aro, picking up where Ford Aro left last year. The win by Ateneo over MVU. Ford Aro was the main man in that game at 22 points, 7 out of 8 from the field, 8 out of 8 from the free throw line. So, tama tama yung sinabi mo, he's picking up from where Ford Aro left last year. Kasi parehong parehong team yung kalaban ng FEU, ani ng Ateneo against FEU. Same lineup. That's right. And the front line identifying that they can outplay the front line of FEU simply because of their size and their heft. Baroka looking for a friend with 10 on the 24. Baroka settles for the sidewinder. That rattles out again. There has been no such luck for FEU from the field. Low puts it away! Boy, did he sky for that one. A very seldom fast break attack that we have seen throughout this ball game. But Jai Reyes on the money with that nice look. 46-39 this quarter. Atene with 10 points in the third. FEU so far with eight markers. Remember FEU not playing or playing without Mac Barakael. He's already, well, is that confirmed out for the season? Most probably. The season, his last season, if I'm not mistaken. As Raba holds down his 15th rebound to FEU players on the floor. Chris Chu Chris. makes the players on the other Ooh. end. Frontline scoring, turnover points, fast break points. Defense of FU slackening a bit in the last two minutes or so. They're down by the biggest margin, 48-39. Here's a Petron fast break. Petron extra unleaded, extra mile play. Ateneo is on a run. Their biggest lead of the ball game at nine. As we go into a Samsung timeout, we here at the Araneta Coliseum. FU trying to draw inspiration from the crowd here, trying to keep them, get them going. But Really, Ateneo on a run, a 12 to 2 run. And I was caught there in our smart instant replay. 10 to 0 from the fast break department. And the drought continues for FEU. That two points in the 12 to 2 run only via the free throw line. And the last field goal they made was at 8.35 of this third quarter. That was the Sanga 3 that you pointed out, Don. Yes. FEU's field goals in the third quarter coming to, from two three point baskets. One from Benedict Fernandez, the other from Ron Sanga. However, FU giving up a lot of point blank shots, a lot of easy layups that Ateneo converted. Kaya, taas ng percentage ng Ateneo. At kung titignan mo yung shot chart ng Ateneo after this ball game, makikita mo talaga, FU's solid defense underneath is not quite present. Not quite present today. The shot chart na yan, namamagayon doon sa loob. Oo oh, yan, makikita mo, bumubukol na yan. <laughs> Baroka, wild pass. Kaaling saves it. Under three minutes to play on this third quarter that has seen Ateneo heat up. Kanuan, double team on him. Nice closeout by Ateneo. They swing it to the other side. Nutel finds a crease. Cervantes, Baroka for three. Gets it to go. And again, they go to the three-point shot. His second of the ballgame. Coach Glenn Capasho motioning hallelujah there. That's uh, the extra pass, I think, is something that he is looking at with his team. Movement of the basketball from the right to the left or from the left to the right. Tapos may malilibre na silang kasamahan. Power rate, power rebound, power rate sports is what you make it. Raba Alasani, 15 rebounds to go along is 24 points. Don't they miss Mac Barakel in, in this sequence? Especially in this type of a ball game, a half court type of a game. You sorely miss the the leadership and the offensive skills of your Bakpak Parakael. That's an Accenture high performance three, high performance delivered. And then, uh, you know, when you go to the numbers of Parakael, what they're missing against Ateneo, he's averaging 16.5 points, five rebounds per game in the two games that they, he played against last Ateneo year. last year. So, malaki talaga. Ang inahanap ko pa rito sa FU, kung may steady scoring from the wing. Their wingmen have not delivered consistently here today. Got such guys such as Ron Sama, Jer Kawaling, and Benedict Fernandez. Meron pero manaka naka. Hindi dire diretso talaga. And that's why Ateneo still in the driver's seat by six. 48 42. Two minutes and nine seconds left here in the third quarter. 48 42. But as miserable as they've been from the floor and the field as we look at Coach Tindo Pumarin. It is still 48-42. Their ability to hang up. <laughs> Their defense may not be rock solid today, but it's still there. The discipline is still there. Kaya lang talaga ang pagkakitin ng Ateneo. Fighting the driving lanes. And they have found Alusaini. Oh, a special game here today. Nice takeaway, Tanuan. This time will not make a mistake. Earlier he followed the ball. This time he made sure, Ronnie. That is 
what they need, a spark, a spark gun. A player who will give them energy. Can be the sun oh. and a jump to the one. Almost a turnover. Ateneo with 14 on the 24. Jai settles down the troops. So score on your screens. And the time remaining in the third. Jai settles for a top of the three. Top I of the three. three. And what a crucial three. Jai Reyes, who is averaging 20% from that area. And we knew you are late to recover to your man, such as Jai Reyes, who can shoot it from the three. Nutel will be burned, and he was burned in that particular sequence. Nice inside play, and a pretty play. And the reward is a three-point play opportunity. And first, probably the prettiest play inside for FAU. Bihirang bihira. And what about the pilferage job by Kanuan here? Hey, konting tonting ba na hindi nakita na referee? Head and shoulders, crucial stop. His mind is definitely on the game. Not Dandruff with head and shoulders stop Dandruff from coming back. And that was a PS Bank assist. PS Bank Mahasan. I, I say that because I remember a couple of times Eric Salamat was called for a technical for the exact same thing. He does that always, talking about Eric Salamat. But we have to point out that Salamat will be missing the entire second half, leaving the game after suffering a broken jaw Salamat. late in the second quarter. They go inside. And their meal oh, ticket. Oh, Al Outstanding game for Al Husseini. So disciplined, picking his spots well. But where is the help defense of FAU? Front him, push him away from the basket, do something to take away the scoring rampage here of Al Husseini. Outside shot, not connecting for FAU. A couple of plays for us here with 33 seconds. 53. 46 is our score. Ateneo is 3 out of 18 from the three-point area. The last one coming from Jai Reyes. Splits the double team. Jai handing it over to Ryan Brenafe, who is 0 out of 6 from the field. He recovers. Puts it up. 0 out of 7, but no problem. Rama Alusaini is picking up scraps. And no problem for FU as Alusaini almost outscoring the entire FU team in the third quarter. 55-46. 20 rebounds, 28 points for Raba Al Husseini. And he stops that. And he has a defensive stop at the last play of the third quarter. As we look at our Nike Hyper play of the quarter, just do it. 55 46. That matches the biggest lead of the ball game for Ateneo. Raba Al Husseini, 20 rebounds. 13 out of 17 from the field, 28 points. Our Accenture high performance of the quarter features him. High performance delivered. Can he keep it up? That question will be answered when we come back. Back here at the uh, Araneta Coliseum where we feature a Jack and Jill fantastic moment. Life's fun with Jack and Jill. Life's fun with the UAB. And we return with fourth quarter action. And the main story, Raba Alusseini, let me check that. 19 rebounds, 28 points. And he's going. He was going for 29 and 30, but those 28 of the 36 inside points of Ateneo Rani, they're averaging 37 inside points, number one in the league. Wow. And that is why Alusseini was played with bottomless energy here today. For Naro. So pretty much the way he started out the first quarter, running with that speed. Just uh, anchoring that lead post attack for Ateneo. 28 out of the 55 points of Ateneo coming from uh, Raba. That's more than 50%. The question is, can he sustain it? Can he sustain it? And can Ateneo also fend off this pesky FEU team? That's right. And another question right now for FEU this time is how will Coach Glenn Capacho defend against Aluseni in this crucial fourth quarter? It is 56-46. That's the biggest lead of the ball game, but it is. J.R. Kowalik, who knocks down a crucial three. J.R. Kowalik finally finding his stroke, where he is shooting 46% beyond the arc. Went up there, all day to shoot, zero out of eight in this game. Very poor shot selection today for the rookie. They will give him that shot instead of them allowing him to get inside the basket. Here comes Hefio, they go back to Rick Kowali, stepping back. Inside to Real Cervantes, gets the roll. Getting the benefit of the bounce, and two plays 
instigated by J.R. Kawaling. First a three-pointer, analyzed, put underneath, just like that, and he only down by five. 56 oh, what a ball! Is there such a thing as a perfect game in the UAP? If there is such, then Rabba is playing the game of his life here today. 30 points, 20 rebounds. Amazing. There is only one guy who has done 20 20 in season 71 so far, and that is Derby Cruz in a losing effort. Probably, in their first out outing. probably Book sending a strong message to Derby Cruz that his reign as MVP. It's quite shaky at this, at this point. 58-53, Ateneo by five. And al Husseini, Roddy, has eclipsed J.V. Kasha's 29-point output, the highest output in this season so far with his 31 points. With the goal, seven minutes and 50 left here in the final oh. quarter. Just a nice look. Got to look at that again. Pretty play. It's a difficult catch. Exquisite-looking pass coming from Kirk Long. An exquisite PS Bank assist. PS Bank by side. Let's send it over and assist it to Portia Silva from Ateneo de Manila University. Take away this game already. Presence of mind on the court, guys. Coach Norman Black said, for as this match is almost over, Team Ateneo lingers in the zone to make sure they end this game with a bang. Also, during the huddle, Captain Chris Chu told his boys, tulungan natin ang isang isa, wala maglalaro para sa sarili niya. Defense, guys, team defense. Truly, the Blue Eagles are more than determined to take home their sixth straight win for this season. Boom. Thank you very much, Portia Silva, for a Samson courtside update. Kurt Long, short on the three. Do not count out this FBU team, the number one three-point shooting team in the league. This is only a two-possession lead. They go inside. Adolfo finds the lead. Without Alusini there to combine with Nonoy Baclao, frontline defense will be a little weak for Antonio at this stage, and FBU just bouncing on that, just down by three, 58-55. Seven minutes and some loose change remaining in this fourth and final quarter. Chris has been quiet, and a good thing. Salva misses, Chris again puts it out, still no go on three opportunities. And again, breathing down the necks. FBU, short staff, nothing there. That would have been huge. 44. This is where FEU is so dangerous. The ability to hang tough, the ability to stay close and utilize their defense to try and steal this game in the clutch. Let's go to Christelle Fillard from FEU. It's the last quarter of the ball game, and Coach Glencher wants to see his boys in their best forms right now, as he wants them to triple up their efforts. Sabi nga niya, mahaba pa ang oras. Kaya pa nating manalo dito kung maglalaro lang tayo ayon sa sistema natin. As per defense, he wants the guys to box out on Rob Alusaini and get him out of the shaded area. Boom. Well, thank you very much for that Samson court side update. Well, Rabba is out of the shaded lane and out of the playing court right now. He's on the bench. A much deserved rest. 17 footer from Donoy. And now percentages dropping for Ateneo. Especially now that their best offensive option, Alusaini, is not on the floor. Who do you go to in the clutch on offense for Ateneo at this stage? That's right. In the meantime, FBU growing confident with every shot. Calvin puts up the three. Doesn't get the bounce. And it will be FBU possession to the delight of this FBU crowd for rocking the Aronetta Coliseum. And it seems like today that the mindset of FBU is that they will live and die with a three-point shot. And look at this smart instant replay brought to us by Smart. Ramos! And now FBU is within whispering distance of the unbeaten Ateneo Blue Eagles who are flirting as they go back to Raba. Short on that one, he will go to the line. Ateneo is one out of five in the fourth quarter so far. Yes, without Alusini on the floor, FAU going to town. And the defense of Alusini was tested there, fresh off the bench. Just a one-point deficit that FAU is facing heading to the last 5 and 44 of this ball game. We saw that on our Spartan instant replay with 5.54, 5.44 remaining in this ball game. FAU is four out of seven from the field today, here in the fourth quarter at least. Rabba again. No such luck. And a push 
ball on Chris Jewell. And a chance to snatch the lead. Finally, somebody offering oh, stiff resistance to Alusini. That shot was taken away from the basket, not going to the basket. Now FAU who just lingered around, hovered around, trailing for most part of this ball game will have a chance to get the driver's seat in the last 5.35 of the fourth. We've only had one deadlock in this game, and that was at seven. Right now, FAU looking to take the driver's seat. They swing it to Fernandez, who has been nice goal in this game. Baroka, the handoff. Fernandez stepping back, no space. Cave will try a three. Overshoots that one. So the lead still with the white shirts. Five minutes of loose change remaining in this fourth and final quarter. A main event for your Thursday brother. Jai puts on the move. Rava, the nice fake, drives hard. He doesn't get the roll, but he gets the foul. You just have to admire the smartness today of Alusaini. Defense recovering long, attacking the basket. Once again, FEU allowing Alusaini to go to his right, which is his strong side of the basket. Force him to go left, force him to use his left hand, as he has really broken the backs of FEU today. The chance for him to put the greeting room for the Blue Eagles. They're on top of a solitary point of 58-57. Less than five minutes left here in the fourth. The only guy scoring for Ateneo right now. 32 points. Five Amazing. points. Amazing. Five points in the fourth quarter. He scored six in the first, ten in the second, 12 in the third. That's five now. He is four out of five with the free throw line. Make that five out of six. And under five minutes to play. And enough to breathe a little. A three-point lead for the unbeaten Ateneo. 14 on the 24 for FBU. Who have been tugging on the shirts of the Blue Eagles. An offensive foul, is it? No, it's a foul on Chris Chu. That will be his third. And Chris Chu, the missing link here, averaging 15.4 points in season 71, only five points in 26 minutes. And Chris Chu, I think, the fourth leading scorer of the league so far. Hasn't been limited to a single digit for the entire season so far has been the most, has been the least productive game in season 71 for Chris Chu, but of course, he loves the fourth quarter, he loves the clutch. Yes. He is fourth in scoring behind J.B. Casho, Jervy Cruz, and Dylan Ababu so far in season 71. Fernandez is fifth, actually, and he is struggling today. Baroka muscles his way in. Baroka. 11 points to lead his team in scoring. Playing excellent defense here in Jairez, almost forcing a turnover. The advantage of Mark Marocca is predicated on his ability to play back to the basket. Pretty much the way uh, Denok Miranda did during yeah. his time for FAU. They're taking out the point guard, talking about Ateneo. Coach Norman Black sending Ryan Buenafe back in. They took out Jairez, so we expect Ryan and Chris Chu to alternate, maybe even back on Austria, to bring down this leather. 416. Raba Alusaini has been able to dismantle the defenses of FEU today, but they are only ahead by one. Chris Chu taking the inbound. Ryan Buenafe posting up. Mark Maroka, smart move by Coach Norman Black. He has that advantage and he oh, takes it. Proper timing, able to sub for their point guard, went to the mismatch. Splendid move on the part of Coach Norman, pushing the right button. Breathing room and three points for Ateneo, 62 59. How about that? One out of nine from the field, Ronnie. That was his first. And what a crucial shot! But on the other hand, Benedict Fernandez manufacture some sort of a shot to give themselves a three-point play opportunity. And now FEU play fearless basketball, just playing in close to the basket, attacking the front-line defense of Ateneo. Well, in our smart instant replay brought to you by Smart, look at that, initiating the contact and then dismissing Nonoy Baklao in the process. Outside defense was present, but that is just experience working there for Benedict Fernandez. 62-61, 3-43, 62-1. 40, four out of nine from the field for Benedict Fernandez and only the second deadlock 
in the ball game. And 3.39 remaining, and a foul called on Benedict Fernandez. Chris Chu looking at his jaw, and it's there still. Remember, Eric Salamat out of the ball game with a broken jaw. I remember the game of FEO against Garasal perfectly well, too. When uh, there was an unsportsmanlike foul snap on FEO that resulted into that uh, losing cause for them. Buti na lang, hindi unsportsmanlike yung tinawag. Instead, it would be a personal foul. 3 and 38. And they bring them together, Chris Chu and Benedict. Here's that play, here's that foul. That's the foul. <laughs> nothing dangerous, nothing uh, unsportsmanlike. Probably a little bump. Chris Hugh adding a little juice to it too. If you can get an advantage or so for stopping. And Chris Chu taking Wander away from Benedict Fernandez. And in a game as close as this, yes. any kind of advantage that you can gain that they can lift your team to a victory. You'll be very much welcome by your respective coaches. Especially if you're shooting 84% from the line, as Chris Chu is shooting here in Season 71 of the UAAB. A struggle from the offensive end after hitting the first basket of the game with a three-point shot. Only seven points this, this uh, ball game so far from Chris Chu. But a little help from him and Ryan Buenafe, Osrada Alusaini might be a little gassed out right now. And why not? More than working like points. a horse. <laughs> they might be an understatement. 10 on the 24. Does FDU have one last run in them to snatch this win? Baroka, Rainmaker is short. Offensive rebound. Cervantes barges through. No, no. And the ball ends up with Adolfo. Fernandez thought about shooting, but they have a fresh shot clock. Three minutes to play here at the Araneta Coliseum. Baroka against Chu, inside to Ramos. Baroka, hesitation move, he loses it with five seconds on their shot clock. Baroka trying to take over in the last phase of this game. And let's see if Benedict Fernandez will be able to help on the offensive end. Crucial yung dalawang free throws na ibinigay na yun with Miss Chu. Fernandez pops out, takes a three. Nothing there. And Raba Al Husseini comes away with another rebound. And a scratched face. Ryan moving along, sending it out to Chris. Raba sends it back to Chu. 10 on their 24. Raba double team on him. McLeod looking for Chris Chu. They have four to shoot. Jonathan McLeod getting inside. Left hand oh, shot. Boy, what patience by Antonio. Where's the resistance there coming from there? You That's a difficult left hand shot. Came from Lodai Baklao. FEU scoreless in the last minute of action. Ateneo, two free throws. And that difficult shot coming from Baklao's four-point margin. Only two minutes and eight seconds left here in this ballgame. 44 inside points by Ateneo. Will it be enough, though? Their average is 37, best in the league. But today, 44 against the 20 of FEU. But even that is not enough to ensure a win as they are only behind by four, 66, 62. Warning on number 16, Marlon Adolfo. Second motion, the elbow thrown, given a warning by the referees. <laughs> Emotions really now very high here in the Araneta, not only for the players, but the spectators themselves. Fernandez pops out once again. Last two, Last two minutes brought to you by PS Banks. Ramos out to Baroka, 15 seconds to execute. Eight on the 24. Fernandez makes his move. Great close out there. Oh, oh the tip it! Well, Cervantes able to get a hand in there. It's not a defensive stop. He did not get the defensive rebound because of that failed stop by uh, Adenario. Oh. He only down by two. And a missed opportunity by Donoy Bacal of the assist from Chris Chu. Baroka. They send it out to Fernandez. Stop of the circle. Spins out, but is fouled by Baco Austria. I can over the limit are the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Oh, over the limit are the Ateneo Blue Eagles. 
We will check in a short while how many timeouts are left for these two coaches as FU refusing to quit. A minute and 21 as Marocca, Fernandez and Cervantes keeping FU in this ballgame. Down by only two, 66, 64. Three out of six from the free throw line for Benedict Fernandez today. And he's short. Sinasabi natin kanina po, kakailanganin ni Benedict Fernandez yung confidence niya, lalong lalo na pagdating sa dulo from the free throw line. Now in 3 out of 7. Perimeter points, FEU with 30. At the day with 9. That's what has kept them in this game. Despite the discrepancy in the inside points. 4 out of 8. And Daniel needs this timeout as a lead. It is only a precarious one-point lead. Let's go into a Samsung timeout with Samsung Imagination Live. <laughs> Back here at the Aradanta Coliseum, our Nike Hyper play of the quarter. Just do it. The eye in the sky between Kirk Long and Raba Alusseini, who has 33 points, 20 rebounds. Second 2020 this season, Jervy Cruz, as we mentioned earlier. But more importantly, in the last six years, that's the most points scored in a game in the elimination round. Tying Ken Bono, 33 points, August 26, 2006. Wow. Definitely wow. But here in the fourth, FEO outscoring Ateneo, 13 yeah. against 11. And only down by one with Ateneo in possession. Great defense by Real Cervantes. Total collapse there against Alusaini. Didn't give off that extra pass. FEO with only a minute left, still has two timeouts left under their belt. Under a minute to play. Hang on to your seats. It is a one-point lead. FU erases it! The extra pass has come into play for FU in the fourth quarter. Nutel creating that action for Ramos who knocks in the backbreaker of a jumper. Just like that, FU in front, 67-66. We have a Samsung timeout imagination. Renata Coliseum is rocking so far here as we look at a power rate, power rebound, power rate. Sports is what you make it. One point lead FBU, 47 seconds remaining. Aldrich Ramos contributing to the 32 perimeter points of FBU. Only nine for Ateneo. All caught in our smart instant replay. No more timeouts for Ateneo. And they have been shooting miserably in the fourth. Three out of 12. And the scoring ways of Alusaini now will be called upon by coach Norman Black, especially here in the last part of this quarter. Don't discount the other players like Chris Chu. And a turnover? No, it stays with Ateneo with 12 on their 24. Rama, by the way, is one out of three here in the fourth quarter. Because of that scrappy defense of the interior by FU. No open jumpers. But if you're FU today, this part of this ball game. You have to put a close watch on Chris Chu. He loves this type of late ball game. Games that are decided five points or less running, FEU is 2 and 0. Ateneo's closest win was a six point win. Chris Chu throws up the three. That's short. And FEU handles possession. And a foul is called. This is not over yet. Not yet over, but with 23 seconds left, FEU on top by one. That's for them to go up by three points. Ateneo having no more timeouts. But still not over here, not over. We have to make two free throws. 23 seconds, let's look at this head and shoulders crucial stop. Mine definitely on the game, not Dandruff with head and shoulders. Stop Dandruff from coming back. It is Marlon Adolfo on the spotlight. 75% from the line. And even if he makes this two, one more play for Ateneo. And you, do, and you do remember last Sunday, you and me, Roddy. <laughs> Not that, not, not, that I'm, not that I'm suggesting anything. I'm a ball boy, huh? Four players in double figures for FEU. Ramos, Fernandez, Cervantes, and Barroca. While for Ateneo, one player. Here we go. 23 seconds, three-point lead for FEU, and everybody and his mother standing up here at the Aranata Coliseum. They need a three to tie. Chris Chu is challenged. And that is a rebound. It's all about defense for FEU here in the last part of the ball game. We talked about them not being able to stop Alusini in the first three and a half quarters, but in the end, 
They were able to clamp down on the scorers of Ateneo. Just patience and defense working wonders for Coach Glenn Capasho. This will be free throws 27 and 28.